That's right. Finally, I'm gonna do a Nokia N80. I waited a long time for this and I finally found some body shells. Not 100% new, I'll still use some of the old uh, parts. But uh, other than that, this should uh, look awesome. The door to the mini SD card just snapped now. Before I started this recording, I was I had this phone for so much time. The door was still there. I just opened it out of curiosity and snapped in my hand. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. If not, I'll just not put the door anyway. It's gonna snap anyway, unfortunately. So, yeah. There's that problem. Anyway, let's get into it. Eighty-one tuck towers, not bad. Well, let's switch it off. You don't need a SIM card to start the phone up. I just needed to make sure that the phone works. Right, so... I've never disassembled one of these before, so it's a first. And that's what makes it exciting. How the heck does a feather get stuck in here? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm keeping the buttons, but not the front part. Because the buttons are not so bad, just dirty. So I'm keeping them. I do like the clear displays on these phones. <laughs> the earpiece, which I'm not going to take out of here. Well, actually I can. You know what, I think I can get it out of here without damaging it. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, this is it. These are clamps. Another feather. Seriously? Now, either this uh, previous person, owner, worked at a chicken farm or at a pillow factory. If they still used feathers back then. And the top board. And the infrared port and front facing camera. And here are the four hidden screws. I knew it. And I do have a hunch that it may be another two screws underneath the buttons. But let's get there first. These are some tough screws. Yeah, I kind of guessed it had the clamps the other way around. Phew. Yep, the other two screws, just as I thought. These buttons are also not bad, but I think I might change them. Okay, so the problem, the connector right here, there we go, that's kind of it. I'm also going to disassemble the slide mechanism. There we go. So, heavy metal. And this is plastic. Now a closer look at the main board. Yep, 
Look at the camera. If you noticed on the back, you have here a button to choose between uh, wide and macro. It, it's not the digital, you have to manually adjust it. And this is the button. Look at the, this is basically moving the lens. Look, look at here. See? Let me adjust the focus here. Look at the camera lens. Look what happens when I adjust this. Now it's in macro. See? This uh, lens here. They're moving uh, back and forward. When I adjust this. Pretty cool. Another feather. Or what's left of it anyway. Here is the microphone. I'm not gonna pull it out of this case since it doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna take any, everything I can from this body shell since I don't have a full set, you know. I have to make do with what I get. Of course, the email plate, it's a must. Oh, yeah, here's the thing from the micro mini SD card door. I will try to glue it and hope that it holds. If not, uh, there's that. The side antenna, almost forgot about it. Hey, jumpy are we? That's kind of it from this body shell. Well, the button it's um, held in place here, but I am gonna take it off. Because you can't change this, it comes with the body shell. And it's easy to snap, you know, so I'm keeping it as a spare. The flash module. I should be able to. There we go. And the speaker. Huh. This is the power button here. It should slide out if I push it. Yeah, something like this. Now all it's empty. Oh, time to get to clean it. So let's get cleaning. I also have the mini SD card door that I'll have to clean and glue. Oh, this snapped even more. Uh, so, yeah, clearly this is a lost cause. I'm gonna clean the door anyway, maybe, I don't know, I'll glue it there. <laughs> yeah, I'll see what I can do. Give me some extra strength, you know.
Oh, it was in it. <laughs> okay. This is what I was looking for. I have this body shell, which isn't new, but way better than what it had, so, <laughs> yeah. And like I said, I need this thing. It has to go underneath it like so. There we go. Something like this. Okay. I made a little oopsie here, I put the wrong screws there, but I'm gonna fix my mistake. Ah, I forgot to clean these buttons. <laughs> Oops. Mm -hmm. Right, it's clean. Good. All right. So, well, nah, I'm not going to put the SIM card anymore. I know the phone works. What I do want to do something about is the mini SD card door. But there's nothing much I can do about it. Eh? Oh, wait a minute. Actually, there is something I can do about this double sided tape. This is just for it to look pretty. There 
no. Well, it holds. It is not too tight. I mean, I can easily take it out. Here it is. This beautiful phone. Yeah, this has taken some time. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Uh, it detected the macro. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, I understand now how it works. <laughs> Interesting. Well, that's it for this beauty. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And, top nail. I wish you a very awesome day just like yourself and all the best. Bye. Really.